Okay, this is Mozart's Musical Patterns. Um, this one we talked about finding musical patterns and then um, repeating them. So a lot of times music has patterns in it and you'll see that measures have the exact same notes and rhythms in it. So this first one, there's one, two, and three. They're separate little, little songs. Um, you'll notice that the pattern in measure one, two, and three are exactly the same. The end it ends on a middle C whole note. There's a repeat, and the repeat says to, at the repeat play, the next higher CD, A, C, D, and E. So we're going to start off um, by playing the pattern C, D, and it just repeats three times. So let's start C. Repeat on the next set. Good. So you're gonna do that one first. Um, when you are comfortable with this one, go ahead and move to the second one. Okay. We want firm fingertips. Okay. Nice strong fingers. This pattern is E D C. So first notes on E, and it's going down. So E, D, C, three times, and then ends on that middle C. Okay, let's go ahead and do that one. E, D, C, 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 e, C. And then repeat, we're going to play the octave higher CD. Starts on E. E, D, C, E, D, C, E, D, C. E, D, C. E, D, C. Um, there are some dynamics that you would want to pay attention to once you know the pattern. Um, so this one, they actually want you to try to memorize. So memorizing that pattern and playing it. Okay. So after you have memorized two and are comfortable playing it with the higher CD also, go ahead and on to move, uh, move on to number three. Okay. So pattern three is C, E, C, hold for four. C, E, C, hold for four. Okay? So C, E, C, E, C, E, C. We're going to do that an octave higher. C, E, C, E, C, E, C. So there's a three. Short exercises with repeated patterns. The bonus part is the creative part is to create your own CDE pattern using different combinations and different types of notes. So different types of notes means quarter, half, or whole notes.